from Naples. I woke up in Rome this morning and we hopped on a train. I obviously, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm in Italy, obviously. I'm here for the next nine days because I have a shoot and I obviously wanted to vlog. I don't know how much of this vlog is actually going to be about what I'm here for, but obviously I just want to kind of, you know, share my trip with you. So this will probably be more of like my off time than this is what I'm here to do. This is what I'm here to see. But to give you a bit of context, I'm here shooting something for nine days. I am traveling around Italy. It is a specific thing. So it's not like I'm going to be like, we're going to this restaurant. We're going to this. We're exploring this. It's not that kind of thing it is like a specific subject. So sadly, this is not going to be one of those huge travel vlogs where you discover really cool places, but I wanted to film it nonetheless. I do need to head off though. So I'm just packing up my bag a little bit to head down and I need a clip. I've just quickly put some curls through my hair, like literally so quick. I got up at 4.45 this morning. I just needed to like move my body a little bit. So I'm a little tired but we need to go. But welcome to the vlog. <laughs> if you didn't watch the last vlog, it was my Formula One Jeddah vlog. I literally flew from Saudi last night to Italy into Rome, hopped on the train this morning and here we are in Naples. So let's get going. <laughs> everybody it is day i don't know what of being in italy i think i'm on day seven no day five six six i landed on sunday i'm here shooting a documentary and if you can't tell i am very tired however this is my first morning off i'm in milan and i'm heading off this morning to go and have a spa morning at the four seasons and i'm going to vlog the rest of the day as well so you can kind of, actually maybe even tomorrow as well so you can see kind of like what i've been up to it's been very kind of like it's not for me what's being shot so it's not like i have a ton to like show you and tell you about it's more that like i'm being directed and told what to do so it's a bit different but i will show you anyway i am very tired though we have been up and down italy we have been we've traveled so far but it's currently 6 50 in the morning and i'm about to check out of this hotel in milan head to the four seasons for breakfast i'm gonna do a workout and then we're going to have a spa morning yeah <laughs> i'm so excited but welcome to the vlog. If you like these, you know what to do. Give this vlog a huge thumbs up right now. Right now. Give it a like. Go on. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This felt nicer over her. Oh, okay. <laughs> she sat opposite me. I'm going to do the coffee. They have iced coffee. And I trust you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Do you want me some coffee to start with? I would love a... Hmm. Can I please do a flat white? Sure. And can I also do a double espresso, please? Sure. Thank you. Maybe some juice? Yeah. Do Fresh you one. Do you have grapefruit? Sure. Do you have watermelon juice? Watermelon, I should ask. Okay. If not, just still water's great. Still water. Yeah, thank you. What are you going to eat? I don't know. Let's have it. Do you feel like we, although we love each other, it's like we've spent too much time together? So we can you can sit opposite me. I'm not offended. <laughs> We definitely need the bakery basket. Okay, my friends, we have quite an extensive menu. Actually, there's so much on there. Are you going to read it out? <laughs> I'm not going to read the whole menu. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking we definitely need to do something fruity, like the mixed berry bowl or something like that. Yeah. I'm tempted to do the mozzarella. We don't have to, but like, sounds good. The salmon sounds really good. And then on the hot dishes, I'm definitely getting eggs. I might do the eggs any style and get uh, maybe poached. Oh, they'll do a great scramble here with toast. The crepes and Nutella sound good, but that's just getting a bit ridiculous. <laughs> what about the cinnamon French toast? That sounds really good too. We could get that to share. That's like a breakfast dessert. It is, table. isn't it? Yeah. And then definitely pain au chocolat, but we might as well get the bakery. We'll ask if the bakery basket has a pain au chocolat in it. When you're looking at pancakes, do you always like sweet or do you think savoury? making them at home i'll do the first one with like cheese and bacon really yeah and jam okay yes. and then if i'm going if i'm here i would get nutella okay yeah, yeah. definitely i always say them sweet never yeah. savory have you tried them savory yeah wasn't well, a fan oh really I'm just not a massive savory person you don't like cheese though so that's no. what else would you have in there yeah oh, let's see she's ready to go <laughs> 
All right, this is the spread. So I've got scrambled eggs. I got one fried egg. We have bacon. We have some berries. We have a caprese salad, bakery basket, French toast. And I've got scrambled egg as well. And then she got some smoked salmon. And this will all be demolished in about 30 seconds. We've just finished up our lovely breakfast and we have maybe five minutes before, well, we can, we can go to the spa at any time. We've booked access, but we want to spend as much time as possible there. But I do want to have a little wander around of the hotel. So this is on my hit list to come and stay at. I am a huge Four Seasons fan. I have stayed at the Four Seasons in Whistler, which I loved. That was wonderful. And now we're here checking out the one here in Milan. But look at this. This on an evening would be the dream. Look at this courtyard and we've even got a blue sky day. It's just so calm in here and everyone's so nice. <laughs> So guys, I really want to do this antique mirror in my kitchen. And since Hannah and I were talking about it, we've just seen it everywhere. Look, isn't this- That is a gorgeous one. This, we should take a photo as an example. It's a bit coppery. I think I would like more brassy, but maybe it just looks coppery because of the tones of the room. I love the color of the ceiling. Okay. We are heading to the spa. We're in the changing rooms and we're about to go and get in. We're getting in our gym clothes, right? Yeah. And we're gonna just sit for hot. We just ate so much it's food. Fair. We cannot, we cannot gym immediately, but we do want to gym. And then we're going to spa. Maybe, did you bring your laptop? I did, yeah. You need to use laptop time. Yeah. We're gonna sit and do laptop time for a bit, but I have to show you, you're going to die. So, I feel like I have so much to fill you guys in on. I packed so horrifically for this trip. Hannah can attest to that. It's not very good. Uh, but I had to pack for Saudi and then here. And I was just, I was overtired. Where had I just gotten back from? Morocco? No, Japan. 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 And I basically had a whole parcel not turn up of things that I wanted to wear. And I, it, yeah, it ruined my pack here, okay? Mum jinxed me because she spent the whole time day. <laughs> really well and I can't pack and I'm going to hold it. Anyway, I forgot to bring a swimsuit. So at Heathrow, I had to buy a swimsuit. And you know the only place really in terms of, where was I, Terminal 2, where you can buy a swimsuit? Accessorize. This cost me 43 pounds, right? 43 pounds. It's brown. <laughs> Shiny. It's a very funny shape. You will not be seeing me in this. I have my lovely new Hunza G1 that I left at home. I also hate buying things that I don't need. You'll notice this about me. I'm sure you've noticed. I wear the same bikini, the black triangle swim my one on repeat. And then I bought that new Hunza G1 because I was like, okay, Emily, it's been like five years. You need to get a new bikini. And I just, I hate buying, oh no, Hannah's laughing because she thinks my fashion's atrocious. And <laughs> I won't buy anything unless I love it. And I don't love that bikini. And it literally kept me up at night the day I bought it and I was like I hate that I've had to buy that it's so hard she keeps sending me links to dresses and I'm like I just don't love it she's like yeah but you need something to wear and I'm like but I don't love it like I love this Jenny Kane cardigan like I bought this in black as well and I really want the cream one Helen has the cream one we're here with I don't know if you guys follow Helen Owen on socials uh she has the cream version she's so nice she has the cream one and I have this in this it's like heather oatmeal color isn't it mm. and then um the black but it's my go-to black cardigan, but I need to get it uh, dry cleaned because I went to a restaurant in Japan and it was like a smoking restaurant. Mm -hmm. So it just smells of smoke. So I need to get that cleaned actually. But how stunts, and I love this. And I, this was a great purchase and I don't, there's no regret. We're just gonna work on your capsule wardrobe a little more. She hates that I wear everything skin tight on my top half. So if, if you start seeing me wearing baggy things on my top half, it's not me, it's not me. Don't come for me. She's <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> oversized blazer without without the skims top underneath you want me to do a baggy t-shirt underneath i do want you to try i'll try try see this is my dream dress this is Dylan. i waited so long to get this it's stunning it's cut out at the back do you hate it no, or do you I, like it i love it i love it for you but do you <laughs> <laughs> It's very colourful. See, I would wear this on like a Sunday with a pair of Hermes Orans. In London? Yeah. Okay. To like brunch. Cool. Great right. for you. You don't think that's a vibe? I think it's gorgeous. Do you use true princessy? Yeah. Look, I have a man hating wardrobe. I'm not attracting a man in this wardrobe. But I feel so great. Well, that's all that matters. But as long as I have, you know, both. I do need to get some more like... If your clothes make you feel great, then that's all that Well, half of them do, but I obviously can't spend my whole life in dresses. 
but I would. We'll just build a bit of a capsule. Or I'd move somewhere hot. But no, we'll build a capsule. <laughs> we'll build a capsule wardrobe, okay? We do say this, and Emily has asked me to help. I have her, asked her to help. I can't enforce No, 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 her. I've asked for her critique, and she's been incredibly... Am I allowed to buy slip-on vans still? Yes, in certain situations. Okay, that's fine. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I also did want to buy a different pair of Sambas, and she went to really. She... <laughs> it, it was because they were black and beige. It was, it was, it was an immediate no. And yeah, so. But I'm excited about it. Look, how are you ever going to push out of your comfort zone without some kind of help? We're going to vlog the experience. Yeah, we're clearing out the closet will... again, but yeah. with not just my perspective, from your yeah. perspective as well. And then also people can like comment. Like, yeah. people can share their opinions on what they love and what they don't love from their wardrobes. And, and that's so that's going to feed in and help. I do need some help. Um, are we keeping our gym things out as well, or are we going to bring laptops back to the wardrobes, the lockers, before we go? <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long week. I, think I did bring my ball with me. <laughs> how do you stay in shape, Emily, when you are travelling? This. This is how. Um, we will bring our laptops back here. Okay, wonderful. So you can leave your ball here, because people might try and use it in the pool, it's, like it's like... It's a buoyancy <laughs> We've just sat and done an hour's laptop time. There's nobody else in here. Obviously, I wouldn't be on my laptop or filming myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go to the gym now. I've sat here and relaxed, but I'm going to. Otherwise, we're going to be sat in a car later today for hours, and I'll be like, I have not moved a muscle. So I'm going to go and get some movement in, and then I'm not doing anything crazy. It's it's a weekend, but I'm feeling very relaxed, very content, and it's nice to get on top of everything in a place that's this calm, I'm beautiful. I'm feeling I'm tired. This trip has completely exhausted me so far, but I'm feeling so content and so happy. And it's nice to be on the move. Like we're constantly moving. Everyone that I'm here with is so lovely and it's really good vibes. It's just like exhausting vibes because I'm getting up at five every day to work out, do as much of my work as possible. And then we're leaving at like eight every day, driving for hours, shooting for hours. And then we get in the evening and it's like dinner's at 8.30. We get into bed. It's like, do you know what I mean? It's just hours. It's not like particularly like, strenuous work you know being filmed but it's it's the hours so yeah i'm feeling good it's nice to have a morning to get back on top of my things and i am excited to get planning what i'm going to be up to when i'm back in london because i actually i have a couple of potential trips booked in but they're not imminent they're like i have some time so i want to get the house sorted out i need to get the sofas in situ i really want to get that wall in the kitchen sorted look at this you guys i've got an empty gym so we have some treadmills We've got some weights down here as well and then there's a whole other room which I think I'm going to go in and then I think I'm going to set up over here and do my bar class. We have mats, we have weights, we have everything I need so it's perfect. You know what I do need though? A socket to charge my laptop because my bar class is on my laptop. Hmm, found one. So I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes to charge up and then I think I'll set up right here because it's nice to have a mirror right in front of me. I need some, I mean I can use your balanced on the weight rack so I can use that as my bar. We have, I've got everything I need, this is great. I just need to pick out a couple of weights. I'm very excited actually to do this session i went to the gym in the hotel yesterday but before that i have just been doing little kind of like room workouts which are never quite the same i feel like it's good to keep moving but they don't really like hit the same as if you're in a gym and last night i was literally wired when i got back so i went and just like slow walked on the treadmill and listened to music for 30 minutes and it, it did it for me but i'm happy now to be doing a proper session if you wondered how i keep my hair together when I'm doing a workout if I've had it blow dried although I am going to give myself an air wrap blow dry <laughs> once I've done this and I've been to the spa I literally brought my air wrap with me I was going to book a blow dry here in Milan but I just don't have time one of the girls that I'm here with has done that which I have mad respect I uh, almost did but they have no appointments here because I booked in pretty last minute so I was like I'm just going to bring my air wrap and it'll work out but yeah two clips I twist it around this stays in doing literally anything and or maybe if you're not doing hit but you know low intensity walking that kind of thing is fine and it doesn't kink my hair so you know when you have a bobble you have that line I mean you can fix it easily but especially if you've paid for a blow dry you don't really want to be like fixing it 
are. Can you tell I've missed you because I'm so chatty? <laughs> this one vlog a week is so difficult for me. However, I would have been freaking out this week if I was wanting to do more than one because this has not been a vloggable trip. When I tell you in any down moment, I've literally been editing or sleeping. So I think tomorrow is actually my day. So we've each been filming everything every day, but each person has like a dedicated place and my place is not tomorrow the day after. We have a big dinner tomorrow, so we'll get ready for that. Oh, but then it goes up on Monday, so I can't really show you my day. That's a shame. You'll see, I'll, I'll sh like, once this video's up and once the actual documentary's up, I'll link it in the description box. So come back and check a little later if not follow me on Instagram and it will be on there. But I'm gonna stop procrastinating now and actually do my workout because I could tell you that I'm just procrastinating because I'm waiting for the laptop to charge, but in reality, I could face that way and actually see it whilst it's plugged in. <laughs> I did it. And that was the best session I have had in so long i think because i was just actually i wasn't in the mood was i until i walked in here and then i was like oh, i'm so in the mood for this you know what i really miss i really miss my gym at my apartment complex in stratford that was just the best gym and i had those little studio rooms that i always had myself in the mornings until like three weeks before i left and there was that random man that would just always walk in and i'd be like oh this is really encroaching on my space with this loads of empty rooms i miss that i miss being able to like walk a few floors and go and work out obviously i have my space in my like, in my home but it's very different because that was just like i don't know it was different it was different but i'm going to go and get changed and showered and go in the pool and relax and i think order a tea well it's been the most relaxing few hours we've just gotten dressed i am wearing this or just do dress. Do not notice the shoes. They are not part of the outfit, but look at that. It's so beautiful. I give myself a fresh Dyson Airwrap blow dry. And I feel like a new woman. I cannot wait. We are actually not doing like a dinner dinner tonight, but we have a dinner dinner tomorrow. So the hair will hopefully last me until tomorrow. If not, I can. Well, obviously it will, but I mean, I can freshen it up. And I actually think I'm going to wear this tomorrow to dinner, but I just thought I'd get some cute little pickies at the hotel because it's so lovely. Guys, look how magical this is. The sun came out. It's a blue sky day we are so happy we've been at the spa all morning got a pretty dress on couldn't be happier i'm so fulfilled and content right now it's been such a great week and a long week but a great week and now we've had this day i'm just feeling so balanced and level and great we should get some lunch yeah we should we need to get some lunch and then we're heading to meet everyone to get in the car to head to our next destination so we've come out for a little wander around before we get into the car for is it a four hour journey four hour journey we will make stops but it's just nice to get some movement in we did try to find something to snack on but we couldn't find anything so i do think they're quite good at planning stops in so we're not going to be hungry yeah we wanted to find like a little italian grocery store kind of situation we found one yesterday and we just couldn't find the same one and we've run out of time so we're going to go and pick up our bags and hop in the cars and then tonight we're, stay we're actually staying at the same hotel for the next two nights so i will be able to show you bits and bobs but it's not because it's not my project it's there's not much context i can give you is but it's okay I like, I'll show you, I don't mind. I know you're probably gonna want to see, but yes, that is what we're doing right now. We've arrived in our next destination and we have dinner in about 20 minutes. So I'm just, just laying my head. <laughs> Not that I've actually done anything at all strenuous today to make me tired, but I'm just like taking a sec. This bed is so comfortable. But we pulled up and the hotel we're staying at is like a villa. It looks incredible. Obviously, there's not really much to show you at night. However, tomorrow, I think I'm going to wake up to a very beautiful view. And also, I was told by one of the people we're on the trip with that the weather is supposed to be like 20 degrees tomorrow. So, sounds great. But they, the hotel said they haven't opened the pool yet for the season. So, the pool's not open. But not that we have time, actually, to go into the pool at all. But yeah, we have dinner in about 20 minutes. So, Hannah is going to come and meet me and we're going to go for just a loop do some steps and then we're gonna sit down to dinner yeah, and easy that's why my good morning good morning i forgot i'd overdrawn my lips this much and i just clicked girl on the camera and looked in the screen and thought whoa but good morning i am shooting today it's sunday we're heading off to a museum to shoot i believe so i'm just getting my bits and bobs together and heading off to the day but i thought i'd show you the view out of my window this morning look at this oh my goodness i can't wait until the fog clears it's just going to be 
insane. So this has been our mode of transport for the week. I've just finished doing my section. So each day we've had a dedicated, I guess, piece of content and area, haven't we? And the, today's mine. So I've just done my my lines. You'll see them on Instagram at some point soon. You can let me know how you think I did. But we're gonna go and get coffee now and go for a wander around Vicenza because it's actually, we're gonna get to see some of it, aren't we? Yeah. It's a very dark room in here. It's actually very nice and bright outside. We've come for a post-lunch stroll. Look at this. It's so beautiful. And then the other side. How is this real? It makes me want to rent a car and drive around Italy because I would have never otherwise come here. Are we doing some picking? I'm good, but if anyone wants any, I will help. Hey, look at my green. <laughs> <laughs> no! St. Patrick's Day! Serene's having her moment in her St. Patrick's Day outfit. <laughs> So, so Italian. Hello, hello, we're back from filming in the town. I've just had a second to freshen up and I am off to go and film my like interview section, which will be really nice. And then I'm done for the day for now. And then we have a dinner later, which will be really nice. It's with kind of like the whole group. And then there's some other like external people coming, which will be really lovely. But it was really fun to kind of walk around Vicenza today. Uh, it was not what I expected. It was so quaint and cute. And I'm like, huh, I feel like I've missed out on Italy by not seeing some of these more kind of rural towns. And well, I mean, I think Vicenza is a city, but like the history is just so like it was so cool hearing about it and walking around and getting to know even just like a tiny part of it. But I need to brush the powder off my face. But I'm going to head down so I can film. <laughs> You're wearing your glam. Stop it. The wind, right? Not me. Yeah. You're pointing up to the sky. <laughs> What, is this a documentary on me? Like, learning how to use camera? Thank you, sorry. No worries. No problem. She's gonna win the prize for most improved. <laughs> At least I'm getting a prize. <laughs> I'm not, I'm definitely not. It was super interesting to walk in and see a room of young people. Went from that to the finished piece of jewelry. So at the start of the journey, I really had no idea what family values and just the real artisan crafts. Of Guys, I'm crying. Why am I crying? It's windy. It's Hannah. <laughs> She's pointing the camera like really this. Good. I'm like, is that, is that the ceiling? <laughs> oh yeah. Just stretch your neck. Just stretch your neck, it'll look fine. Thank you so much guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, is it coffee time? I actually could have a coffee. Would you like a coffee? I was I was going to bring your coffee down, but can we have hot coffee? Can we have hot coffee? Yes. And I'd like a bit of this coffee. <gasps> Something sweet. Can we order her? Maybe. I think, yeah, I feel like we can. A sweet treat. A sweet treat. I would love a brownie. Mm. Oh, brownies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, it's coffee time. I have my double espresso and we got a selection of biscuits. They look homemade. I'm gonna have a chocolate. I did say to him I really fancy chocolate and he was like, I don't know if we have chocolate, but they have chocolate. So I'm really happy. There you go. Thank you. I don't know what they are. It's a dippy situ. This looks eyes. a bit like a hazelnut, like a roasted hazelnut. It looks nutty, yeah. Mm. Mm. Chocolate good. Mm. This looks a bit lemon and poppy seedy. Mm, yeah. I mean, anything tastes good dipped in espresso. Anastasia, have you done yours yet? Oh no, why? Oh, that one. Okay, your hair does look great today. <laughs> Did you do the hello facing the other direction just so we didn't think it was for our benefit? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Can you say hello to the vlog? Hello. <laughs> you just have to say hello, friend. Um, Hi, my friends. friends. Hello, friends. This is Andrea from Italy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a peaky blinder. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Go and say it. From some house. In it. In it. In it, mate. <laughs> With your bees and honey. <laughs> He's coming back for more. A lot of bees and honey. <laughs> Sorry. I was just doing a little bag switch up and taking out the white small flap and then I've got this cute little set on from Ref and I don't think I'm gonna take a jacket. I think it'll be fine. We've just got to dinner. <laughs> Do we know what we're eating? It's a little miso. Yeah, it smells miso. So I'm still going, so yeah. It's very mushroomy. I've not got mushroom. Oh, okay. 
Mmm, mine's just broth. Oh, okay, nice. Is it quite umami? It's really yummy. Is it sesame seeds? I love this. This is so good. It tastes like bone broth. Yeah. Mm, that's what I'm going to make when I'm home. Oh, yes. Chicken bone broth. Yeah. So we have a bowl of hummus. Is this fish? Is this goat cheese? Goat cheese and pumpkin. Oh, yummy! So we've got like a potato, anchovy, pickled onion situation. Okay. This is so my vibe. Good evening. I'm back from dinner. It's midnight. I'm getting up at five. <laughs> It is the last day of filming tomorrow and then I head back to London on Tuesday and we're gonna do the biggest, the longest, the slowest reset. Um, yeah. Remember when I was talking about how I was on this like travel age of travel, like it, it was just going and I was just rolling with it. Tuesday marks the end and then I'm home and I need to have a huge reset. I can't wait to get back into routine. I need to do a big spring clean. I can't wait just to like, to be in my space and to have a bit of a routine. I, I I don't think I'm like feeling, feeling the effects of traveling. Like I've been like consistently active and like, like I just think I just need sleep. Honestly, I think that's what it is. But yeah, I have had a really lovely evening. I've giggled so much, like so much. But for now, I'm going to love you and leave you. I am gonna head off to sleep and then smash out this last day of filming tomorrow. And then yeah. Tuesday comes and I'll probably vlog maybe Wednesday or Thursday and we're gonna get my life together. And it, look, the weather doesn't look great, but it's fine. But it would be nice to get a bit of sun. So I'm hoping, I'm manifesting. But thank you so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.